36 hours. Dude, I can't stop. I can't stop learning. And I was like I was telling him, I feel like a bubble is it's about to pop. Every time no. I get every no. time I get in my truck, I'm driving and I just see how just vast how big the world is. And I'm like Welcome to Dallas Real Networks. It's brought, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that you showed up today. A lot of people, you know, talk a lot of talks and then don't show up here. And, um, you know, you're into CrossFit and the serious health. And you are my trainer. And you are also a trainer for Mr. Corey. Mr. Corey, can you... One second, let me make this live. You, it'll make it live. Let me make sure that this... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be straight up with you. I want to surround myself with people who are thinking on the next level. People like you are. Yes. Mr. Madison. People like Mr. Corey Kelly. I don't want anybody surrounding me who are thinking on that level where I was thinking three years ago. No. I want to be successful. Like massively successful. To the point that I want to have uh, a private jet. I want to have that swag. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. You, it might look like I'm money hungry. No, you're not people don't understand. You you're not money hungry. hungry. Most people don't you're understand. Success. You're, you're, I want to be you're, 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 massively yes. successful. Nothing, yes. nothing less than that. Like serious successful. That I could be able to, to the point that I could be able to give you a ticket and give him a ticket and say, let's go to Hawaii. Let's go to Bangladesh. Let's go to Australia tomorrow. You know what I mean? A hundred percent. You got to know who I surround myself with here recently. Uh, the guy that I actually talked to the guy that I remember I told you I wanted to, a friend of mine, the, uh, Mike McCall's the guy you were talking about, the, okay. uh, the white haired guy. Uh -huh. he, he has a place in Costa Rica, the guy I was telling you about. Oh, yes, yes. Wait, he's, he's, a, he's a star rocker? Yes, yes. Really? Yes. He was also You, you don't understand. Like, I have no idea. Like, I mean, he has never once in his life made me feel like I am less than him in any way. And by, what I mean by that is when I talk to him, I have no idea how much this guy's worth, and I don't really care, and, and, and for any reasons. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I bring that up is he he was talking to me about that. About he just he went over his condos. Like you're talking about surrounding yourself with people that that, that yeah. are taking the next level. This guy just bought. He took over these condos that this, these people were uh, embezzling in. Yeah. And I already told you about this, but he uh, uh, he took over them. He's explaining to me what he's doing. This is going there. This is that. This is what I've had to deal with. Never once did he say how much he was making. Never once did he say how much he's putting into it. Never once did he make me try to brag, make me feel like he's bragging about it. So I said, hey, how much you getting out of this at the end game? I was like, what happens when all is said and done? He's like, I'll, I'll make $10 million off the place. Something like that. Like, like, really? That literally means nothing to him. I mean, it does, obviously. That's, that's yeah. a lot of money. But, I mean, you, but to but, who he is? Right. Uh, it, it, as a person, most, like, I've talked to you about this many, many, many times. I'm not super religious, but being around people like him, like you, I mean, just these different people make me want to be on that next level. And if that's what he, if that's what he does, like, just being around him makes me want that. And talking to him, he's the most Christian man I've ever met. Like, I seriously, I've never been able to call, like I was telling him, I've never been able to look at any person and say, yeah, they're my father figure. I've never, like, my brother's probably been the closest person just because he's literally been there since the day I was born. Are you telling me, wait, wait, wait. are you telling me that you haven't really had a father figure? In uh, no, no, not at all. Not at all. Dude, th th just not so all. you know, like, I he didn't have a talk. Really? All of us, bro, Colton, Kevin, every single one of us that are in this group, you other than Ryan, what is, don't have is a real here. father yeah, figure. Yeah, that's, that's normal in America. But it's I, something. I, I can't, I can't comprehend it, and I think the reason why it's for, for you and I can't comprehend it because we're not. If we have kids, we're never gonna leave. Oh, bro! I yeah, I'm mean, trying to more than anything else. Be the, the best dad in the world. Exactly. One hundred percent. I'm right there 100%, with you. One hundred percent, bro. I mean, but you gotta know. It, but you can't blame them. You can't. Blame we can't. Them. And the reason why it's I said that it was the same conversation. Me. They knew. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Me and you remember we were talking the other day about. Uh, <laughs> Gary was talking, Gary Vaynerchuk was talking about, uh, he's like, what's the one thing all old people have in common? Regrets. 100%. And, you know, I've talked, talking to Michael, he, he's 72. 72. Dude, it looks like, what? He does not look like a freaking day like over 55. 40, 50 years yeah, old. Yeah, it does not look like a day over that. I mean, 
friggin' awesome help, but I have never, ever, ever, ever seen any kind of, like, even hint of regret from this man. Granted, he's not 90. Seems like he's happy. Yeah, dude was in the Navy SEALs. And then he played for the NFL. Really? Yeah, he was, like, well, he come straight out of the uh, Navy, went straight in the NFL. He went from that, I mean... <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the kind of guy but, I want to meet. Oh, yeah. I'll, 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 Dude, he's a great guy. You he want to meet awesome, this man. Bro. Did you meet him? Yeah. I used yeah. to work out with him. I didn't know it was the same guy. Yeah. Yeah. That was a long time. Okay. But, he's a great uh, guy. But anyway, I'll, I'll introduce you guys sometime. But anyway, remember remember when I said that? And then my friend Colin, remember what he said? He's like, hindsight's 2020, obviously. When you're in the moment, you're making the best decision you can. Our fathers, you can't blame them. They made the best decision they thought yeah. possible. I, I'm glad he made the decision to, to never contact me and be, not be with me. The reason why? You are who you are today. Right, and 100% is that. But he's also, he was a drug addict. He was an alcoholic. He was abusive to my mom. They were abusive to each other. Hmm. If I grew up around that, I wouldn't be who I am today. My mom left him. He never made contact. I see him now. He feels terrible for not being there, but, you know, whatever. I just want to be a friend. But... You know, not having a father and all those things that makes you want to be the best father you want to be, you know. But, you know, nothing else you can do but to try to move forward from it. Uh, I don't remember where we're going with all that. No, we were not, dude, because you, you know, guys were relating because, you know, that background that you have, he has a yeah. similar background that's like a that's like a foundation for you guys to understand each other's. You that's know, probably why we get along so well. You know what I'm saying? That is that, just like before you came to the bro, before I was literally telling the same exact story about how. That whole aspect of my life has created so many issues in my life because understanding yeah. enables control, dude. I didn't understand where I came from. I never met my dad, but when I was 16, for the first time in my life, like the picture I thought I saw of my dad, because I found a picture of mm -hmm. who I thought was my dad when I was 12. I never told anybody, and to this day, I've never told anybody about that picture, dude. Um, other than Colton. Colton's the only person that knows about the picture. Um, anyways. It confirmed when I was 16 I met my my real grandmother for the first time and understanding that the the guy that created me my dad that I never met I was so much like we were so similar we never met all our hobbies everything yeah I'm like genetics right same same, same here me and my dad that doesn't make any sense yeah. dude and, and understanding that yeah. enabled so much control of understanding who I am bro and that's so weird it's so weird man yeah no, there's a lot of stuff like when me and my dad finally met and talked, you know, when I was 19, I messaged my cousin on uh, Facebook because when I very first, like, come out to public, and it was if you're in college, you could have it, you had to have a college email, so you could have it, and I, uh... You're talking about public information? It was MySpace, it was MySpace, it was MySpace, I messaged my cousin, it was like, hey, literally hadn't talked to her ever in my life, and I was like, hey, I'm graduating high school this year, is there any way any of you guys could come, come up? And, like, literally, the family I haven't seen in 12, 15 years came up. Like, it was, like, my, my two, my grandma and grandpa, my dad, her, and then uh, my uncle. I hadn't seen any of them in, like, 10, 15 years. They came up. Could not believe it. Saw my dad. He walked up, and I was like, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm 19. You know, I'm as tall as I am now. See this grown man that looks a lot like some pictures I saw as a kid walk up, and I'm like, Mom, what, what's I up think with that? that's my dad. I don't know. She's like, yeah, that's your dad. And I was like. Wow. He looks so Hi, like shook his hand. How are you? Weird seeing myself, you know. But uh, somewhere I, I had the same thing, same thought, same picture, same same thing, same idea of who my dad was. Met him, blown away. wasn't it, He he wasn't who I thought he was, but he was who I thought he was. You know, it was weird. We got talking about. We have a lot of the same stuff. Talk about like we like to see how things work, tear things apart. You know, he did the same thing. You know, he was a musician. I was a musician. Uh, he played he played bass. I played drums. You know, it was pretty cool. I actually went down there. It was two years, maybe a year later, two years 